The mission of water.org is to ensure that everybody on earth has access to clean water and sanitation in our lifetime. Matt had uh, supported uh, the production company, uh, Black Planet, was doing this documentary on these three guys running across the Sahara Desert. And so they had encountered huge water issues and wanted to do something about it and started H2O Africa. And so we got introduced because I had already been running what was in Water Partners. Gary, at, at the time I met him, had had this idea that just turned into this really kind of wonderful uh, innovation of his, which was this idea of water credit, which was to use the uh, concepts of microfinance and apply them to, to water. We're never going to solve this with charity alone. There just isn't enough capital. It would take about $200 billion a year for five years to get this problem solved. And there's only about $8 billion going in in terms of all development assistance and aid. And so we, we recognize it has to be from the bottom up. And you know, meeting this woman in Bangalore uh, who was paying 20 rupees every day <coughs> for her family to get water and another 20 rupees every day for them to go use the toilet in their slum, you know, 1,200 rupees a month. And she took out a water credit loan and got a water connection right in her home. She got a toilet right in her home. And her monthly payments on these two loans combined was 1,200 rupees. So you can see it's this expensive to be poor concept that she could you know, afford those few rupees every day, but she could never dream of you know, saving $200 to make that happen. She took out a loan from Water Credit and got both of those. I've had incredible experiences all over the world meeting people and, and, um, and looking at the impact. I mean, the, the, the difference in somebody's life uh, if they suddenly have access to clean water and, sa and sanitation is really incalculable. In a lot of these countries, girls aren't going to school because they're literally in charge of collecting water for the family and it, it takes them all day to do that. And so the, the type of life, the, the, you know, their potential is never going to be fulfilled. You know, uh, whereas if you can intervene and, and give them and, and get them that clean drink of water, they're back in school and, and someday will be the you know, uh, uh, contributing to the economic engine of their country. I think the one takeaway that I would want everybody to have is that this problem is solvable. I think that's really the most important part, and because I, th I think that's what people respond to. Like, you know, th they don't want to feel like, oh my gosh, it's, it's such a big problem. Uh, you know, it'll never get solved. There's no real answer. There are very real tangible answers and solutions. So much about Davos this year is focused on, you know, income inequity and what's that mean for, for the future of our planet. But when I think about it, th there's no greater manifestation of inequity uh, than somebody not having something so basic to life as water. And so to, to me, that, that tells the whole story of this income, income inequality. <laughs>